Okay, how are you today? Fine. 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 So in the last class, we have discussed on diffraction of light. Today we are going to discuss on dispersion of light. First tell me, what will happen when a light ray passing through one transparent medium, say this is medium 1, falls on another transparent medium, say medium 2. What will happen here? This is where basically, you know, recalling from the last class. Yes, Obiji? Sir, the light ray will change its direction. Very good. Now, what this phenomena is known as? Refraction. Very good. Fix it on. So, this is known as refraction of light. Now, can anyone uh, state the conditions of refraction? You know, on which conditions does this angle? Uh, okay, first tell me, what are the angle of incidence and which one is the angle of refraction. Anyone? There are basically two angles. One is this and the other is this. Now which one is angle of incidence? Sir, can I try? Yes. I think sir, the above one is angle of incidence. Okay. And the, this one is? Angle of refraction. Refraction. Very good. Please think about it. This is angle of incidence and this one is angle of refraction. Right? Now, state the two conditions of refraction. Anyone? Yes. Yes. Sir, I think one is the color of the light. Very good. One is the color of the incident. And the other one is? Yes. Can you? Type. Type of what? Type of the medium. But yeah. if we have glass here instead of water, then the angle will be different. Okay. This is good. So the two conditions are one, tell me. The first one is color. The color of the light. And the second one is type of the medium. Very good. We are mainly concerned with this. Because, say sunlight, this is a polychromatic type of light. But, uh, do you have any idea of polychromatic? What is polychromatic light? What is, what does polymer mean? Any idea? Yes, maybe. Polymer more than one. More than one. Very good. Multi. Super maybe. And chromatic. Chrome means? Yes, maybe. Chrome means color. So, polychromatic color means a color on basically a light ray which has more than one color in it. So, a white light ray basically is made up of seven different colors. Do you have any idea which of these colors are? Yes? Sir, so it is expressed as a short form. Yes. 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 Very good. Uh, okay. Please come on the board and light. component color like this ok and here on the skin we will get seven different colors which are known as any idea spectrum spectrum very good the spectrum will have seven different colors in it which are commonly known as medium now what is B then I
angle which is deep in different color this phenomena is known as dispersion of light sitting alone in his room uh, on a uh, day he suddenly found that light rays are incidenting on it and then they are splitting up he uh, did not understand the reason properly but he observed the phenomenon later in his life he made several experiments on this and finally concluded that light ray can be uh, separated can be split up in its component colors to you know demonstrate this thing um, clearly he made another experiment he made a disc okay and color different parts of it with the colors of deep view like uh, you know this may be violet then uh, this one may be what is the next one indigo. 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 this one will be indigo and uh, blue. Blue. blue and then green, green. yellow, yellow. 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 five exactly to answer okay. so he did this thing and then turn this wheel uh, then what he found that when uh, they were not this wheel was not turning these colors were observed separate but when it was turning no color would have separately been observed and they finally become one, one color, color. One white color. very good so that means that uh, when uh, white light which is this one white so white light can be separated in its component colors and component colors can be you know uh, used to form this initial color which is known as a mother color now last one give example of a natural dispersion a phenomenon of natural dispersion have you ever seen yes sir rainbow very good rainbow rainbows can be observed in hilly regions or uh, on a rainy day we see things like this no but we cannot uh, 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 see no sir we cannot uh, you know observe all seven colors very clearly here we can only see three to four colors maximum but it gives the example of it forms the example of natural dispersion uh, can you say which one is the dispersive media here meaning in case of rainbow which causes this dispersion any idea you can try yes obviously so clouds not exactly clouds uh, please it up uh, what is the main component of cloud so water 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 drops so very good sit down now water drops are actually used or uh, are playing the role of the dispersive medium same as in this case when white light is falling on it they are you know splitting up in its component colors and we are observing it Rainbow. as okay so this was <coughs> dispersion of light and the reason behind it we have also studied one example of it in the next class we will discuss one further on it okay thank you thank, thank you sir thank you sir